Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your weekend message for Saturday the 2nd, going into Sunday the 3rd of May 2020. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For this weekend's reading, I am using the Psychic Tarot by John Holland. OK, my wonderful friends, let's see what message Spirit has for us for this weekend. OK, here we go. Thank you. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends? For Saturday the 2nd going into Sunday the 3rd of May 2020. What do my friends, thank you, ooh, what do my friends need to know from the Psychic Tarot? Saturday the 2nd, going into Sunday the 3rd of May 2020. What is the message? Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, just pop those down. And there's your card. There we go. Okay, <clears throat> your cards are... Eight, trapped in fear, followed by four, heart chakra, and finishing with major arcana number 12, sacrifice. So your first card is eight, trapped in fear, uh, and the border is um, the colour blue. Um, this is representing the eight of air. Um, so trapped in fear, um, it, knowing it's, it's an illusion that this is something that you, you do to yourself, that this is um, self-confinement, I am hearing. Um, number eight, it is the number of abundance and manifestation. Um, it's the number of harvest, but it's also the number of believing in yourself. And here there is a big disconnect between I feel what you know to be true, but not quite believing it. So I'm feeling that this is a uh, self-confinement, um, but it's um, you um, self-sabotage I am hearing this is something that you are doing to yourself not not that somebody is doing this to you um, this is all your own doing I am hearing um, and I do feel that there is a, a disconnect and this disconnect for me is uh, between what you know in your heart to be true and all of the thoughts that can run through your mind and sometimes they can uh, take over um, so I'm feeling maybe paying too much attention um, maybe there is a little bit of mental gymnastics going on for you um, okay so next we have for the heart chakra um, and I'm feeling that this is where this disconnect is coming from and it's between what you are thinking and what you know in your heart to be true. Uh, for the number of um, structure, security, stability, foundation in the physical. Uh, but it can also be the number of limitation and boundaries. Um, so um, I'm going to read from the little book on what it says for heart chakra because maybe there'll be something in there meaningful for you so the key facts of the heart chakra is the color green the sound yam the element of air and the key words i love so parallel to the heart this chakra represents unconditional love compassion harmony 
relationships and healing. It's believed to be the link between your mind, body and soul. Balancing this area may take a while, but you should allow all the time that you need so the healing energy can get through and flow freely. By loving yourself and others, as well as learning forgiveness, you'll become more attuned with spirit. Oh, so maybe this is something to do with um, uh, the thoughts or, or around maybe something that uh, has been you perceive to have had done to you um, or maybe this is something that you know you've done and it, all of this is around um, forgiveness um, opening the heart chakra means letting things go means releasing resentments um, and uh, forgiving yourself and others um, and um, the principle of of the uh, heart chakra um, love and it's also care so um, I'm hearing friends Care enough about yourselves this weekend to be mindful of the thoughts that you are having and how they can restrict and uh, limit you and confine you. Um, this is also um, the, this is the worry, fear and doubt that can take over when we forget our heart chakra, our connection with the divine who loves us unconditionally and has given us um, you know made us in the same likeness so we have that same power um, so healing yourself caring enough this weekend to work on your heart chakras yeah start allowing it to open up and let that love energy flow through my friends wow Next we have Major Arcana, number 12, Sacrifice. Straight away I am adding 1 and 2 to the wonderful number 3. Mind, body, spirit, thoughts, words and actions, all matching, you being congruent, your authentic, genuine selves. Um, this is also uh, the hanged man. Um, the archetype of the hanged man. Um, and so the energy of this card is um, new outlooks, new perspectives, perspectives, sorry, new points of view, um, looking at things in a completely different way. And with the rainbow, and the rainbows representing hope, um, restoring um, peace and, and hope. Um, and this is about relaxing. This is about letting go releasing and relaxing as you go through transformation and changes it's about being patient as you go through these changes and i feel also my friends from working on your heart chakra this weekend putting more effort into um your energies around your heart and not around your your thinking um, I do feel that you will be clearer um, clearer on your your path your journey your uh, your spiritual path and spiritual journey also so new perspectives uh, coming from uh, changes that are uh, you are going through at the moment but this is a, a, a wonderful time um, and, and this is you at this um, sacrifice, the archetype of uh, the hangman uh, is related to the planet Neptune, uh, Neptune, the great water planet. So um, it's about changing how you feel, my friends, changing how you feel about your situation. You get to choose um, whether to feel good about things or whether to let them overpower you limit you confine you confine your spirit which is your heart chakra oh <laughs> okay so working on the heart chakras this weekend my friends extremely important okay next we will have wisdom of avalon by colette baron reed here we go is the message 
for my wonderful friends. Thank you. Oop. There we go. Let's lower the camera. Okay, and your wisdom of Avalon is... Oh, 29, Wind Fairy, Thoughts, Words, Intellectual Analysis. So uh, I'm feeling for some of you, this is just overthinking your situation. Um, and when you overthink, that's when um, you can you, you constrict around the heart chakra. There is a disconnect. So, oh, wow. OK. Uh, and two and nine adding up to uh, 11. Uh, the uh, 11 is the um, number of uh, portals, gateways, if you imagine uh, 11 as the two pillars uh, and you walking between them. So we spoke about new starts and new beginnings yesterday. Uh, this is still more of the same, but um, I'm really hearing as, as we move forward um, uh, uh, on this, t t uh, sorry, as we move forward at this time, on this journey, uh, we are being reminded to be open hearted, uh, not overthink uh, situations and be patient and relax as we go through these changes. OK. The wind fairy whispers that the power of thoughts manifests the unseen into the physical. Take time to observe your predominant thoughts. Are they positive? Do they reflect empowering concepts? Or are they negative and disempowering? When you tune in to how your mind is focused, you will surely see the relationships between your environment and the thoughts that you are thinking. To change the world of outer conditions, you must first change the way you think the Wind Fairy also reminds you of the power of intellect, as this is a good time to use the power of your analytical mind. Think before you act. This is not the time for impulsive action. A well thought out strategy will yield positive results. Oh, I love that sh this Wind Fairy blew in underneath this first card to... Um, really help you switch round this um, feeling trapped and confined, um, helping you by changing your thinking, getting a new perspective, being clearer, being open hearted, being open minded. Wow. Energy Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor. but that's okay <clears throat> and I'm feeling like that okay so you have 10 storm warning followed by 13 financial constraints uh, and I do feel these two cards here related to this first one okay clouds on the horizon this card indicates a potential difficulty either in the external world or within yourself and your emotional life. The difficulty is coming closer and you may have already heard rumblings of potential problems around you. The caution here is to be conscious yet not fearful. Consider what's going on and look at the situation with calm clarity. Wow. Investigate your options and honour yourself and your intentions. Stand up for yourself. Take action on your own behalf. And as with all difficulty, even the worst storms passes. And always remember, you have the power and the wisdom to handle whatever may come your way. Your affirmation is, I have the power to overcome any obstacle, no matter what is going on. I can be strong, confident and self-directed. Uh, and of course, 10, the number of um, 
completion, uh, endings and beginnings. Uh, also the number um, of culmination. So I do feel that you've, you're reaching a point, my friends, where you are really letting go of the fear. Um, you are being more open uh, hearted and you are coming more from um, you caring more about how you feel. OK. And so next we had 13 financial constraints uh, and I'm adding one and three up to four. So again, more of this wonderful um, foundation and uh, structure and security in the physical. OK. This card shows an old fashioned safe with little money, but lots of cobwebs and dust. Money may be tight at this time, so rein in your spending and be circumspect about the financial requirements in your life. This is not a time of indulgence, so be aware of what's really important and consciously choose your expenditures. There's a big difference between what you need and what you want. This card is telling you to take care of your needs and bide your time. Things will get better, but for now, be willing to live more conservatively and always value the money and the good things you already have. Your affirmation is, I can move through any cycle with dignity and awareness and I am open to receiving increasing wealth. Money moves to all through my life, bringing benefits to all. Oh, this is a fabulous message, my friends. For some of you, you know, um, we've been on retreat a while. It's starting to, you know, get a little bit wearing for some of us. And, um, you know, financial um, situations around many of us at this time. So this is an absolutely beautiful message for some of you, my friends. OK. And of course, in general, generalising worries, fears um, and anxiety uh, can be around anything, any situation. OK, Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, who my lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Thank you, Ruby. <laughs> She's not hanging around lately for sure. OK. So your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit is. Oh, wow. Oh, she couldn't have picked a better card for you. And it just really speaks of this heart chakra card. Uh, gentleness kind to yourself and others, honour your gentleness and speak words of love. <sighs> wow, <laughs> this is a fabulous message. Okay, Ruby says, this card represents a sensitive, gentle soul with a deep connection to animals and the natural world. This is someone who tends to feel out of place in the noisy world of busy people. You may be feeling more overwhelmed than usual or find that you need to spend more time alone in quiet places. The unicorns encourage you to honour your desire for peace and quiet and know that gentleness is a sacred gift that needs to be nurtured and expressed more often. Sensitivity is an indicator of powerful, intuitive and psychic abilities and should be nurtured, not repressed. You may feel uncomfortable about addressing a conflict, find yourself in a confronting situation or realise it's time to take a stand for yourself. Responding to a situation with kindness does not make you weak. Your softness comes from deep strength and immense courage within. Rather than shrinking away from a situation or wondering if you should be stronger or louder, 
understand that you can make change in gentle, loving ways. Humanity needs the gentle souls to lead the way into a new reality, one in which kindness and compassion are upheld as the highest qualities. You can show the way by sharing your gentleness with others and demonstrating how to love and honour every living being. You can help others to see how kindness is a strength and encourage other sensitive souls to acknowledge their gifts. This card may be calling you to conscious activism where you can make a stand for innocent animals in a loving yet powerful way. Be more willing to speak words of love and demonstrate acts of kindness. Share your beautiful, gentle light more brightly into the world. Oh, Ruby, she could not have picked a more perfect card for this perfect message for you for this weekend, my friends. We're going through a bit of a storm, but they do pass, and when they pass, the sun comes back out again. So know that we won't always be in this um, difficult time, uh, times where we are feeling... Um, constricted and restricted around different situations um, and I feel like the wind fairy blowing in are uh, going to help you blow away these cobwebs <laughs> and it's about staying patient, being relaxed as we go through these changes uh, and being more gentle with yourself, caring enough about yourself to, to be kind and gentle with yourself and with others. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> What an absolutely amazing message for you, my friends. Really work on those heart chakras this weekend. <clears throat> well, thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. You have joined a wonderful family of kindred spirits. Thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails I really enjoy receiving them, so do keep them coming. And so, my wonderful friends, may favour be with you all, as I wish you a joyful, a peaceful and a truly blessed weekend. And until Monday, my friends, goodbye. <laughs>